Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Side Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for you, beautiful Scorpio Collective. I will each and every one of you beautiful souls are having a wonderful, wonderful weekend thus far, or strong in, I should say. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. It is about 2 a.m. this Saturn's Day, coming into Saturn's Day, and Spirit definitely encouraged me to do a reading and there that is why we are here it's a pretty cool calm and collective evening i definitely um utilize my time on friday evening just doing some feng shui you know some dusting decluttering some cleaning um it's been a very beautiful quiet you know friday with the star seeds um and I sat back, watched a little, little movies, couple movies with my daughter. My son was chilling, hanging out with his friends online. And um, so that's why we have such a late start to this read. But we're going to take a peek, peek, see what's coming in, going out, going on. See what's going on with this beautiful Scorpio Collective. Um, I was picking up on a lot of different energies. Um, not going to be funny. <laughs> uh, some of them was rather like, ugh, like, yuck. Yucky, yucky. So um, that was one of the reasons why I felt, uh, you know, really um, inspired to do the reading just to see, you know, what that energy is, you know, um, and just so you could be, per you know, prepared. Uh, so we're going to tap in, going to tap in, see what's coming and going on, going on. Uh, if you are new, I welcome you to the Soul Tribe Soul Family. Um, if you find that the messages, the reading resonates with you, please be kind. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. Uh, if you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Um, my readings are general, so my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force anything to be your story. My readings are definitely timeless, so whenever this video has found you, that was divine timing and in divine order that it has done so. So before we proceed with the read, we're going to go ahead and do some house cleaning. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, Mother Gaia, Universe, Source, the Divine, Most High God, our Creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So, for anyone that may be new, I am an empath. I channel messages intuitively, and I am clairaudient. So, you will hear music playing in the background. And the way that it works, the name of the song, name of the artist, name, uh, even the lyrics within the song, timestamp of the song, it will correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively, as well as what may be coming out in the tarot cards. And it all tends to blend very beautifully. We just had Michelle and Dale Cello singing... Uh, a love song number one so there could be someone um, perhaps that you know this could be someone that either has love for you someone that um, has been hiding perhaps some emotions of love for you or this could be someone who is you know maybe um, learning their own love language learning to love themselves so maybe they're going through some sort of healing process um, maybe they're doing some deep diving, some internal work, some, some soul searching, and uh, they're learning um, to love themselves. Love is an inside job. Um, we have Tweet, uh, and this is called My Place. So some of you may be invited to someone's place. Someone may, um, you know, live in the Southern Hemisphere. Some of you may be Southern Bells. Um, some of you feminines, uh, meaning you could be a Georgia Peach. Uh, you could be, you know, a little Bama mama. Um, you could be a North Carolinian, whatever the, the case may be. Um, you know, you, you, you may have some southern roots. Maybe you live in the south now. 
Um, I feel there's also maybe you have like an affinity towards birds. Um, maybe you hear a lot of birds where you reside. Um, maybe you wake up to hearing birds or maybe there's a hummingbird uh, that tends to visit you um, frequently. Maybe you've put out like hummingbird feed. So you're starting to see uh, hummingbirds or maybe this was something that occurred in the summertime um, because it is a little colder now. Um, but I do feel like with the hummingbird that there could be some of you who may love hummingbirds. You may just have like an affinity towards a hummingbird or maybe you are um, you've dreamt of one or you've seen one recently. Like I said, maybe some of you all I'm seeing like a tattoo of a hummingbird. Um, I'm getting the sense that this is like an ancestor that comes to visit you. Um, I just saw the word ancestor in my mind's eye. So I don't know if maybe there's an ancestor communicating with you um, via, uh, you know, the animal totem of a hummingbird. Um, with tweet, uh, maybe you're hearing certain bird calls. Um, maybe you're hearing a hummingbird because hummingbirds tend to like um, their wings flap pretty, rapid, pretty rapidly um, and it makes almost like a buzzing sound so I don't know if some of you all um, hear some sort of buzzing maybe some of you all have like um, ringing in your ears I'm hearing tinnitus um, also um, some of you may suffer from tinnitus, like with that ringing, constant ringing in your ear. But I'm also feeling like with a tweet, maybe some of you all will receive like a message via tweet. Like someone could perhaps profess or confess, um, their love. Um, maybe someone will just tweet you, invite you out, invite you over to their place, invite you, um, on a date. Um, I'm also just getting a sense of like, you know, you know, there could be some sort of divine downloads or some sort of message that you all may receive, like a spiritual message, because birds are um, very, you know, angelic um, animal totems. They, you know, literally teeter between, you know, the heavens and, you know, this earthly plane. So you may be receiving some sort of divine downloads, maybe uh, something synchronized will uh, occur. Maybe you'll see some sort of animal totem, some sort of bird. Um, even if it's not like a hummingbird, um, even if it's not uh, a bird per se, something that um, it will happen in, in a very synchronized manner. It could be like some sort of divine intervention or download or some sort of transmission. You receive in some communication um, and it, it's, it, will, it will bring uh, perhaps like enlightenment maybe this is a situation you need to look at things from like a bird's eye view you may need maybe need to reassess or strategize or um you know just kind of like you know plan uh plan you know some sort of um movement before you take action um but that's just what i'm picking up from the songs intuitively right now we have sister nancy and this is called what a bum bum some of you all, you can have someone named Nancy. Um, so I shuffled the cards without seeing what was on the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to flip it over and see what's there now. So we have 74 Nature. Uh, some of you all could be born in 1974. I feel 74 being that that's number 11. Um, I feel like a lot of you all may be um, really grounding yourselves at this time, like really connecting um, you know, meditating to get something straight, pondering on a circumstance or a situation. Maybe you all are really um, getting into yoga now, connecting more with the body, and that's bringing you into um, more of a divine space, a sacred space, um, where you are connecting with your higher self, connecting with universe source, um, you know, with daughter guy, you know, mama, mother Gaia, daughter earth. Like there's um, the sense of um, connectivity I'm feeling, groundedness, um, even alignment spiritually. Um, with uh, Sister Nancy, I feel like some of you all, um, maybe you all attend, um, you know, some sort of um, like a fellowship, like a sisterhood, like maybe there's some sort of group or some sort of um, maybe you're in like a fraternity. Um, I'm getting a sense of like AKAs. I'm also getting for some of the fellas like um, you could be like Q's, um, you know, because I'm seeing them do like that, you know, that little hand thing. I, I, I can't explain it, but I'm just seeing it in my mind's eye. They stick out their tongue and they do like this hand thing, like almost like a Fonzie, but it's up to the, 
you know, whatever. But I see it in my mind's eye so clear. So I don't know if my description is detailed, but cues, they, they, you know, they tend to be more, you know, more, um, just very, very, um, just very confident males, um, very boisterous. Um, and then I was also seeing like AKAs. Um, I'm also hearing, um, like Zetas. So I don't know if some of you all were in fraternities or maybe this is like an ancestor that's coming through that, that could have been a part of a fraternity. I'm even hearing maybe Masons, maybe some of you all are, are Freemasons or there's an ancestor that could be, but whatever the case may be, um, I feel like something is going to take place. Like there's going to be some sort of uh, surprise, you know, there's something that's going to bring surprise. But this 74, I'm also getting um, trust your intuition because that 74 reduces to 11, which breaks down to two. Um, I, I'm just picking up intuition. So that, that number two is associated with the high priestess. So definitely trust your intuition with what a bomb bomb. I feel like something could be like, you know, maybe explosive. Um, some news could come in like unexpectedly. There could be some something that happens. Um, you know, maybe there's like something that's like um, that impacts you. Uh, very impactful um, circumstance. Something that's just going to be like a surprise. Um, and, uh, I don't know, um, maybe it'll take you out of your element a little bit. Maybe it'll cause a little bit of confusion, uh, cause two is really, you know, like it's like, um, indecision, you know, um, you know, it's, 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 it's a duality. So there, there is a sense of being in two minds, two head spaces, um, being indecisive, unsure needing to make a choice or a decision. That's why you need, you know, need, you need to trust your intuition when it comes to something. Um, we have SWV, you're always on my mind. So maybe there's someone making a decision about you with what a bomb bomb, maybe this will be a surprise for you because it's unexpected. Um, with that 11 two, I feel like maybe you could be picking up on this because maybe someone's communicating with you tele telepathically or intuitively. Um, but with that 74, like I said, that's giving me like high priestess. So I do feel, you know, regardless, you do have to trust your intuition. Um, you know, just because someone's returning doesn't mean, um, you know, you you have to be accepting um, of that person into your life. Um, you could definitely hear someone out. You could definitely give someone a chance to perhaps apologize or explain some things if there's a need to. But, um, you know, always go with your own free will. Trust your own intuition when it comes to anyone from your past returning uh, because you're, you, you don't know um, people's intentions. The only, ex you know, apology I feel anyone should ever accept is, you know, change behavior is a sign of someone being very, um, you know, very uh, apologetic or remorseful for something they may have done in the past that they now regret. Um, you know, and you'll see that in their behavior. You'll see that in the way that they deal with you. Uh, someone's obviously thinking about you because we have SWV saying you're always on my mind. So that could be the reason why this two is here also, because like I said, that's like being in two minds. So maybe someone is in a particular circumstance, situation, relationship, um, even in a, you know, a, a position in their lives um, where they're now having to make a decision because they've come to some sort of realization, um, you know, that what wherever they are is not enough um, or wherever they are, they're still thinking of something else. So that would be a sign of dissatisfaction. Um, someone is obviously really thinking about another person so we have on the split uh we have the 74 nature and then we have 16 rebirth so the 16 uh really um it, you know it reduces to seven obviously uh so seven is associated with the crown chakra um seven is also associated with that chariot and so in order for that chariot to move in order for that chariot to be able to um you know direct those two powerful horses um to get the chariot to move um it requires balance it requires strength it re requires a sense of assertiveness confidence um focus even direction um and so this is really showing like personal growth elevating to the crown chakra from that root chakra um because the root chakra is 
really that scorpionic energy you know that represents life and death um, this is a beautiful show of you know a transformation with the rebirth here it's like you have emerged someone completely new you have reincarnated as a very powerful um, being with this seven and this 74 which reduces the two that breaks down to nine so that reduces to the number of the of that um, hermit so there is a sense of like you know just kind of like sitting and assessing things um, really meditating really you know mastering oneself really assessing um, you know in, in self uh, you know it's really about self-discovery as well like discovering more about yourself uh, because you're doing the work you're taking those deep dives um, you're also reflecting on the past you're also looking to you know those those circumstances that have occurred in the past and learning from those things um, and moving forward with a sense of awareness moving forward with a sense of like vigor now um, confidence just just more of a knowingness so this 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 is really that energy of change you know of of really evolving or or ascending um, in oneself ascending to one's higher self even uh, but this is beautiful energy with someone being on your mind also that nine is giving me like the nine of swords where someone could really be you know um, heavily thinking about another person uh, that has change like they've been witnessing someone's chan changes um, they've been watching someone change um, and and transform or someone has really grown uh, someone has really um, taken their power back even because I get a strong sense of that and we have Tiana Taylor issues hold on so I do feel like you know with someone um, you know who's like really really um, up in their head I feel like they could have be ha they could have been going through some issues in a relationship which is now causing them to kind of like reflect um, they're kind of in a nostalgic place could be thinking about uh, better times you know because the issues they're going through is kind of making them look um, you know to the past to better times to better circumstances and so they hold on to those memories they may hold on to you because you could be a part of those fond memories someone could be you know really um, having at this time or experiencing at this time um, some of you all could be dealing with someone whose name is Tiana or Taylor first middle or last or maybe they have a T in their name in their initial um, Timothy, I'm hearing uh, Thomas. I'm hearing Troy. I'm hearing Trey. I'm hearing Trey. Um, I heard said Trey. I'm hearing um, Timothy. All right. So I have a card that just flew up and out. I'm hearing Tamika, Tanya, and I still see this rebirth card along with number three creativity. It's like the card split. And a car that flew out is time out, which is 37. And I was just saying with that um, nine that I just had with those, um, with the rebirth card, along with the um, 74, which reduced to two, because uh, of the 11, it reduces to two. It was like the two, those two decks reduced to nine. So I was picking up on like, you know, the hermit. I was picking up on like enormous change picking on someone, you know, picking up on someone who's really in a very um, meditative state, reflecting, taking that time out to really just, you know, um, assess their circumstance, to find a sense of clarity, even um, looking back in awareness, looking back to learn, looking back to, um, you know, to just gain a deeper, more profound understanding, perhaps of themselves, of a circumstance, of a situation. And so with this time out, it's pretty much confirming that or clarifying that or just validating what I was picking up on um, even though it says 37 that's 10 so this is just moving quicker you know it's like quickly moving out of that um, energy of just hermit mode where you are meditating to get things straight now you've 
reached some sort of epiphany. Um, maybe this is someone who's reached an epiphany um, about you or about a situation. Maybe someone has been in time out for quite some time. And this 37 is like the end of that time out. It's the end of that isolation. It's the end of being separated from someone that you love because they've been holding on as Tiana Taylor has said. So someone that's, that's been, you know, in um, separation has been holding on to you, um, even though, um, you know, there's been a pause, there's been some, some time um, in between. Um, there's been a long period of time uh, since you've last perhaps spoken to this person, seen this person. Um, with the 16 rebirth and this number three creativity, I feel like this person um, sees that you have reached a level of self-mastery. Um, if you are divine feminine, they see you as someone that is uh, absolutely beautiful, absolutely radiant, absolutely attractive, very wise, um, very stunning. I heard the word stunning. Um, so someone's really, really um, admiring this, this transformation there. It's like you are just radiant. You're not even glowing. There's just radiance. Um, and I'm hearing that song um, from, you know, The Last Dragon. Because you got that glow. You know, I'm hearing that song and I'm seeing that beautiful golden, you know, um, toned aura around, you know, the divine feminine or the divine masculine's um, auric field is just like a golden light just radiating from you. Um, with this rebirth, it's like this, whatever you've endured, whatever you've experienced, whatever circumstance that you've gone through, it's like this is the reason why you are um, super powerful, why you are seen as um, just, just someone who's, uh, like I said earlier, like stunning. Um, it's like you've evolved um, 10 times better like it's like they could just when they didn't think you could get any better you did it's it's just that type of feeling to me on the split um this is also someone who's uh very much like they could see just how creative you are like you could be super creative um very innovative i'm hearing as well like you you are like a trendsetter so i don't know if you dress differently or if you um you know you just may have your own little style you may have your own little way of of um speaking even is something very unique about you something rare about you which makes this this energy very very attracted to you very very much drawn to you um and we have roy airs everybody loves the sunshine so this this person thinks of you as someone that just brings a lot of joy and happiness in their life um, and everybody loves the sunshine. I feel like this person feels like everybody is just drawn to you. Um, it's almost like there's a sense of pride um, to have you on their arm. Like they now see your worth. Maybe this is something they didn't see eventually. Um, 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 pre uh, um, Previously, like they didn't see your worth or your value, and perhaps this time, this 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 separation, this pause, this time out, um, this person now realizes just how much joy um, you put into their life or brought into their life, just how much happier they were when they were around you or when they, um, you know, were communicating with you on a more frequent basis. And I feel like this person's um, changing something, like something within this individual is it's like it's changing because they have some sense of um clarity now it's like there's there's like this light bulb moment it's like they finally get to see you um in your radiance they see you in your true light they see you in your power um and it makes you that much more um attractive that much more um you know um um desirable you know, it's like there's there's a beautiful energy here, and I feel like they're rushing towards you um, because they do have a lot of of of, of um, attraction, um, passion. Um, there's there's just very a magnetic pull, and I feel like they're rushing in because this 37 reduces to one, and then on the bottom of the deck in my hand I have 16 rebirth, so that reduces to eight. So the seven is the chariot. So they're really ready now to come towards you because they've gone through a transformation as well. Um, I feel like they've been working on themselves. They've been healing. I feel like they've really been reflecting. Um, I feel like your growth, your um, it's like you've you've ascended. Your elevation has sparked 
um, something within them to change, to evolve, to to grow, to heal, to mature. So I feel like this person is, you know, working on themselves or has worked on themselves. Dang, there's mad cards that just flew out. So we have the number six. I can't make this up. Someone from your past. They feel very much motivated. We got number six, love. And then we have um, Alicia Keys, the life. So this person definitely, I feel, can't live their life without you because they love you. I feel like they tried to live their lives without you. And this is what they are coming to realize is that they definitely miss you. They're up in their head about this because we have 71 health on the bottom of the deck. So that's giving me like the eight of swords. You know, that's like ruminating, pining, overthinking, analyzing, analysis, paralysis, just thinking, thinking, thinking. I was picking up the nine of swords where someone was just heavily thinking about another person because we had you're always on my mind playing by SWV. And with the life, this is someone that's no longer in your life. This is someone that wants to enter your life again. I feel like this person definitely is, um, you know, someone from your past. Someone that hasn't been in your life in a while because I was picking up on like it's been a long period of time since you've spoken to someone, seen one, seen someone, been around someone. But this is that person from your past that does want to return. Um, they may come back with an apology. I was picking up on someone wanting to apologize, get something off their chest. We have the number three creativity. So this is again showing that this person sees you as an empress, an emperor. Uh, someone very, you know, much like a maternal figure, very nurturing, loving, beautiful. Um, this is someone that absolutely can see themselves building a life with you, especially with Alicia Keys. Like you may have the key to this person's heart. I feel like this person can see themselves like, you know, building that nucleus, that family, that structure, um, you know, that family dynamic, that happy house, happy spouse, just, a, a um, you know, someone willing to compromise, someone willing to, to grow, to be that support system. Uh, equal give and take, in uh, equal give and take, um, someone willing to be there, um, to be the protector, the provider, the nurturer, the lover, the maternal, the paternal figure. Uh, this is someone that can see marriage. This is someone that can see future. Um, you know, building legacies, family. Um, like I said, like even investing. You know, so businesses, um, wealth. You know, generational wealth. I'm picking up on. Someone who would be very loyal, someone very committed, you know, someone there for the long haul. So this is someone very devoted. And with Alicia Keys, I feel like this person is absolutely like you, 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 you know, it's like you hold the key perhaps to their heart or, you know, this may per this person may have the keys to yours um, with this 37, 6 and 3. This reduces to 1 because this all reduces to 10. So that one is showing me like someone's taking action. There's some sort of movement forward. There's some sort of um, olive branch, someone wanting to extend an olive branch. This also is attraction, heavy attraction. And, you know, that one is the magician as well. So I feel like someone could be manifesting. You know, maybe someone is working their magic or channeling their inner magi, uh, their inner alchemist, utilizing the elements, you know, water, fire, earth, air, and ether, speaking their intentions, calling on what they want, you know, perhaps journaling. Um, but this is powerful energy. You know, someone is, you know, setting intention for what they want in their lives. 66 is healing. So we have next 66 healing. So this person is um, also, these are the chunk of cards that actually flew out. So I'm just going to take each and every one of them because that's what was intended. That's how they flew out. I'm going to just take it as is. Um, so now we have the number 66 healing. Whenever I see double numbers, I always feel that's you mirroring the person that's coming into your life. That, you know, the energy of the person that's coming towards you. So the 66 is showing me that both of you are psychic. Both of you could be communicating telepathically, intuitively. Remember, we did have that intuition card earlier. It was like, follow your, you know, you got to trust your intuition, your inner gumption. Always, you know, and with the 6-6, six, six, I feel strongly like the 6-6 six, six is giving me, you know, because that breaks down to 12, that's 3. Um, this is someone wanting to re-enter your life. Um, this is someone that could be returning. I feel like this person has suffered heartache and loss um, because I'm getting like the three of swords. So there was a lot of healing from past wounds, past traumas, heartbreak, disappointment, betrayals, backstabbing, lying, cheating, infidelities, whatever you want to call. It. Someone had to heal from that. 
And I feel like with the six and the six, it's like now there's more, you know, using discernment. There's more trusting one's own intuition and not what people are saying, but more so what you're feeling. You know, you're, you're trusting the energy. You're speaking energy. And that breaking down to 12 reduces to three. So that's what I was picking up, the three of swords, like healing from heartache. But I'm also picking up the three of cups where there's a, a desire to, you know, reunite, reconnect, you know, um, you know, almost even, um, you know, making amends with someone. And we have ramp coming to knowledge. So someone has awakened, you know, that six is associated with the first eye. So it's like someone has, you know, kind of had some sort of epiphany. You know, something has finally clicked in someone. Someone's seen something because they're coming into the knowledge. So it's like, ah, you know, that, that epiphany. It's like that light bulb moment. And look what's on the bottom. Of, I, so I didn't even see this 22. We got 22 intuition. I was just telling you that, you know, you got to trust your intuition. So what we have here on the... The deck so far, we got 37, that's 1. The number 6, that's uh, 7. The number 7. And the 3, that's 10, that's 1. And 1 and 12. So 1 and 3 is 4. So this Divine Masculine is coming into knowledge, ladies. And if this is a, a Divine Masculine that's listening, then whoever you're dealing with is coming into knowledge. Someone is coming into knowledge about love. The four is associated with the heart chakra. Four is also associated with the emperor, the divine masculine. And so someone's coming into knowledge about who they love. Someone's also coming into that knowledge and awareness of, you know, the feelings of love. Because I feel like someone had to first love themselves. So they had to heal themselves. They had to do some, you know, so this is about self-love also. Self-love, self-care. So you've come into knowledge. So now that you have that understanding of love, now there could be extensions of love. There could be love language. There could be just, you know, a show of love. It, it, it's beautiful. And with this 22, it's like you're definitely trusting your intuition. That's also the four. The four is again, you know, the heart chakra, the divine masculine, everything that I've just mentioned. And that's what this two is. So we have four and four, wish fulfillment. I feel like someone's rushing in. I'm getting the Eight of Wands. I'm seeing like the Eight of Wands. But I'm also seeing wish fulfillment because that Eight to me reduces um, the 17. The star reduces to Eight. So I always associate and liken that number Eight to, you know, the star. So I feel like this could be a wish fulfillment for some of you all. I feel this... This person feels you're a wish fulfillment, but I'm also getting a sense of like someone having to walk away from another situation in order to come toward you. I'm also getting a sense of them building their strength, their courage. You know, you have to build your strength and courage to come towards someone, especially someone from your past, if you've done something wrong. So that's the reason why I was picking up like maybe an olive branch, an apology, an extension of, um, you know, some sort of. Um, apology or you know just hoping that you'd be accepting of it we have the number 55 and this is adventure so someone is definitely coming in more spontaneous I'm just getting a sense of like you know maybe someone is um, you know kind of putting their guard down um, and being a little more like daring you know more daring uh, looking to be a little more um, risky even you know, not so routine, so rigid. Maybe in the past, that's how they were. That's why they may not have taken action. You know, maybe there were some fears. Maybe there was some intimidation. Maybe there was just some uncertainty. But I feel like now someone is willing to take risks, you know, be more daring. Even more spontaneous, you know. And this reduces to 9 now. So with this 55, remember we had 8 and the 5-5, five, five, that's 1. So 8 and 1 is 9. So now I feel like there's something changing and shifting in this person. Especially with come into knowledge, playing by ramp. Ramps usually mean like, you know, there is, you know, um, you know, this. it's like it's an extension. So maybe someone is like finally like, it's like there's, there's, 
like I said, that there's like them coming into knowledge is just that. It's like they're coming into some sort of epiphany. You know, they have a sense of clarity now. And, they, and we have Mary J. Blige. It's on. Featuring R. Kelly. So now that they have this epiphany, now that they've come into to knowledge about, you know, their love, how they feel, that you're a wish fulfillment, they're no longer going to be guarded, they're no longer going to be in this hermit mode, I feel like they're ready to take action. You know, I'm getting like the nine of pentacles, so maybe they don't want you to be single for too long, you know, maybe they see you as single, ready to mingle, maybe they see you as like, you know, they see your worth and value now, they may even just see you simply, like I said, as a wish fulfillment. I'm getting like the nine of cups. But they also see that you're selfish loving you yourself and you. You know, you're no longer like overcompensating or overextending yourself. You're just really like taking care of yourself. More self-sufficient, you know, more self-reliant, more independent, more confident. And you just come off happier, you know. I feel like this person definitely... Um, can see your worth, see your value, see how much you've put into yourself, how much you've been working on yourself, how much you've evolved. And I feel like now this is like really, you know, motivating them to come towards you. It's like it's on, you know, with the nine. It's like they can't take it any longer because remember we had SWV always on my mind. So maybe somebody's really like, you know, suffering from insomnia, suffering from just like, Mental anguish, conflict, just constantly thinking, thinking, thinking. You know. So on the bottom of the deck, yep. Constantly thinking and thinking. Remember, 71, the 8 health card is there. So that always gives me like the 8 of swords. So, you know, I was picking up the 9 of swords, but now this is the 7 of swords. I mean, the 8 of swords and the 8 of swords is just as, you know, it's just as bad because that self-imposed mental anguish, you know. That nine of swords, because, you know, that's also self-imposed, but it's more so like you can't, you know, like if you're dreaming and you're just waking up having like these dreams, you know, but the, the eight of swords is just when you're like constantly just, you know, this is like that. That's that analysis paralysis, just constantly thinking about something when you could literally just take action and go communicate, say what you need to say. And this nine and this, uh, um, what is this nine? Nine and this uh, 41 is, um, that's 14, that's five. So I do feel this person will eventually communicate. Because that five, you know, that deals with the throat chakra. That five is also um, associated with the hierophant. So it's like this person has been learning, has been growing. You know, maybe they've been sitting at the feet of an elder. Um, maybe they've been just studying, you know, maybe they've, are studying under a master teacher. Maybe they're reading their basic instructions before leaving earth. Maybe they're studying some spiritual book, some spiritual material, occult, and you know, um, occultism or um, esoteric information or metaphysics. Like there, there's some thirst for knowledge, you know. And I feel like they received, you know, perhaps some sort of um, again, you know, some some sort of uh, clarity upon their um, investigation or research. And this is why they're prepared now to speak, to express themselves, you know. I also feel like they've discovered something as well about, you know, perhaps maybe their, um, you know, their journey, their, their, um, you know, their spiritual um, gifts, even talents. Maybe they've tapped in to, to their spiritual side more. Maybe this is some something you've inspired, you, you may have triggered even in them. But let's proceed with the read. Let's see what else we have. This is pretty interesting, me loves. So let's see what we got. Uh, we're going to use the Light Seers. Haven't used you in a while. So we have on the bottom of the deck, look at that. I can't make this up. I was talking about the Star card the whole time. There goes the Star card, beloveds. And look at that, number 17. Remember, I broke it down like I see it as the 8. And the 8 is the infinity symbol, so there's like infinite possibilities, you know. And that's exactly what she's doing. She's wishing on a star. She's praying. She's sending up petitions, prayers, affirmations. And spirit is like, and it is so. So it will be. So mote it be, you know. And we have Roe James permission. So spirit is giving you permission. There's some sort of green light is what I'm hearing. There's some sort of... 
yes, you know, there's a fulfillment of a wish. There's a wish granted. There's something that is coming. So it's like there's movement, there's momentum now. Because remember, um, we're about to clarify that number 37, time out. So that time out is what's, you know, there's currently like this pause, this, this, this moment of just pause, this moment of just reflect, ponder, assess, you know. And in, in doing that, this is what's bringing about this, this epiphany, about this wish fulfillment, about this star. And someone may have to ask permission to re-enter someone's life because as I was saying, I was feeling like, you know, it was um, this distance. And I'm hearing that song, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And, and the rowboat, you know, boats usually... You know, they that usually, um, you know, indicates there's distance, you know. And so with Row James, I was getting Row Boat. Row, row, row your boat. So this person is at a distance, you know, and this time out, you know, this pause, this, this, you know, this, this absence even, like you being absent from their life has really brought something um you know something into um into it's like something into awareness to this person it's like they long for you like they they wait for you they think of you they dream of you It's like there's a, there's also like a, a a soul tie of some sort, and I feel like this could be even like you know from former lifetimes. You know what I'm picking up is like there's you know she has this green glow around her heart chakra, so this is love, no question about it. Is I was picking up that four, you know, heart chakra. I was picking up the four, the divine masculine, and I'm just getting like a, there's someone that definitely just sees you as a wish fulfillment like I was picking up the word stunning some of you all could be like stars like you could literally be very um, very successful in your careers or you may be in the spotlight maybe some of you all have your own podcasts or your own your own businesses um, maybe you are musicians there's something you do you're in the spotlight and you get a lot of recognition um, you get a lot of props like, you know, I was picking up. There's a lot of people that are very drawn to you because this person sees you as an empress and it came back out with the three creativity. You know, if you're not an empress, an emperor, they see you as someone very regal, very royal, someone who's very, you know, um, well put together, very wise, very informed, very well traveled, very experienced, um, just very, very um just very well versed and that's even more attractive that's even more you know alluring that draws them even more to you and I feel like even if you don't speak to this person they still watch they still watch from a distance there's some way that they can tune in and tap in so if you are a public figure or if you have businesses if you have something where you are accessible you know on social media like if you have any of the social media accounts rumble TikTok, you know twitter youtube whatever you have instagram it's like they're they they're they're watching there's a means they're able to see something so i don't know if this person may have set up dummy accounts if you felt you blocked this person or if you felt you know like you have blocked all access there's someone that's figured out a workaround, like they figured out a way to work around it. You know, even if you have mutual friends, they could be utilizing a mutual friend's access, you know. But there's definitely like recognition, reward. Someone is like, look at this, I can't make this ish up. All of the cards that I just mentioned, the Eight of Wands, man, I, I, I need to just stop it. Like, you got the Star, the Nine of Cups. The strength and the eight of wands. If this ain't wish fulfillment, I don't know what is. 
I just mentioned the Nine of Cups. You know, they see you as very much like I'm selfish, loving me, myself, and I. Because you could have very much like walked away from a situation where you could have felt like, you know, you were unappreciated. Because I was picking up on somebody that's coming back from your past that could have walked away from you. Only to discover after the fact, you know, that they love you. And then we have this King of Cups here with the Ace of Cups and the Four of Cups right after that. And there goes the Three of Cups. I can't make this up. Wanting to reunite, feeling like they missed an opportunity. This person loves, loves, loves. This is somebody, and remember I was saying, row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream, and there goes the boat. So that King of Cups, he's very devoted. Very loving. You know, he's just as... Um, emotionally intelligent as that divine feminine and we have this um, mint condition and this is called walk on so some of you all walked away from somebody and this is why they like thinking about you I'm hearing that SWV again again you're always on my mind so let's see what's going on so we just had that that card oh my god that was beautiful so all of those cards on the bottom of that deck were all cards that I mentioned. Um, I'm seeing the Father Sword, so you're definitely on somebody's mind. To the point where they could be like obsessively thinking about you. Look at this. This is like obsession. You know, the devil is like, they could be like, you know, really like, you know, this is obsession. This is monkey mind. This is also manipulation. Like the devil is a master manipulator. You know, but the mind is the devil's playground. So somebody is really getting lost in their thoughts, you know, and they really need to take some time to like, to really, um, you know, perhaps go out in nature just to ground themselves, you know, place themselves in a space where they could get recharged, you know. So even if it's sitting amongst the trees, you know, there's still evergreens, there's still pine trees that are still green out there. Even the trees that, you know, the leaves are changing. Sit amongst the trees, sit amongst a body of water, a river, a lake, an ocean. You know, be somewhere in nature so that you could get that recharge. Because when you're suffering from monkey mind and you're just constantly thinking, that ish could drive you crazy. You could have a nervous breakdown. Just thinking and thinking and thinking. Somebody is like obsessed. Somebody is really obsessed or having these obsessive thoughts. Maybe somebody is having, you know, these thoughts about, you know, a decision they made in the past where they were breadcrumbing another person or not really investing in another person, you know, and now they're wanting to return. And so they could be trying to figure out how to do that. And there goes the hermit. I can't make it up. There goes that hermit. I mentioned the hermit. There he is. Where there she is. See the hermit? Just sitting there thinking, pondering, planning, preparing. And there goes the high priestess. I cannot. I can't. High priestess. I told y'all. I, I, I'm just, this is what I was. These are the cards I was just mentioning. Without the card. I was, that, that was the numerology deck I had. And this high priestess is like. Literally you guys have to trust your intuition. I feel like you also can pick up on the fact. You know, that there's somebody that could be obsessively, like, thinking of you. Or there could be somebody who is dealing with some sort of, like, toxic energy in their, you know, in their lives. And they're trying to purge that ish. This could even just be them up in their own head. Because, you know, like I said, the mind is the devil's playground. And with that person that was clutching his head and the devil had the strings. So it was like they're puppeteering this person like causing all this confusion and anguish and anxiety and with move on it's like somebody is really perhaps trying to figure out a way to move on with their lives and get out of a situation you know there's a circumstance that they may be feeling stuck and stagnant in and with move on by mint condition maybe this is a relationship or a connection where it's just you know, the appearance to the outside world, everything looks to be like cookie cutter, perfect world, but it's just like this person could be miserable. It could be a lot of manipulation, a lot of gaslighting games, trickery, you know, a lot going on behind the scenes. 
and we have a mellow road infinite possibilities i literally just mentioned this but this is called i and i the name of the album is infinite possibilities so this is that person that's holding on to hope this is that person that's sending up those prayers those petitions this is that person that now sees you as a wish fulfillment they could literally be like calling you in asking for you didn't i mention the eight of cups someone walking away because they know their worth and value walking away from a situation feeling like you was giving and giving and giving and not getting anything in return a lack of reciprocity trusting your intuition which told you that you deserved more it goes the 20 the judgment someone emerging new you know the old version of themselves dying and the new version emerging is it having a deeper more profound understanding of oneself an omni standing of oneself inner standing of oneself of your circumstance when you emerge a different person it's because you've experienced change like none other and only like minds would understand and that's why someone is going to see you in a whole new light. They see you as someone that's reached that level of self-mastery. You've triggered them. You've, you've, you inspire them. You intrigue them. You know? You attract them. You know? You're attractive to them. So in the bottom of the deck, we have strength. And the strength is clarifying the number 37. Time out. So what did I say? Someone is literally like mustering up the strength and the courage to come towards you because I was picking up like that chariot earlier. So it's like they've taken their time out, you know, to assess, to heal, to reflect. And once you gain that sense of reflection or understanding, then you move forward more powerfully, more confidently, more assertively in the direction you, you so choose. And with I and I, it's like someone is literally believing in the infinite possibilities in their ability you know it's requiring that strength strength courage and wisdom the wise dome to move forward coming out of that time out coming out of that pause out of that hermit mode to go after what they want it's the action and the power as well and it's all a matter of divine timing you know having to heal having to grow having to experience you know those ex those circumstances to be able to to move forward to be able to take action we have in the bottom of the deck again the star see that so now there's a wish fulfillment now there's a fulfillment of wishes because someone has taken their power back someone has finally done the work to be able to see something for what it truly is we're about to clarify this number six love and we have the star here on the bottom of the deck so someone is recognizing, obviously, that you are their wish fulfillment. They love you. The six is associated with the lovers, so this is a twin flame. This could be a divine connection, cosmic companion. This could be a twin flame union. This could be a past life love, because I was even picking up on past life love, loving someone from several lives, and there being some sort of soul tie or some sort of you know, a very um, spiritual connection. And we have SOS band. Tell me if you still care. So this person does communicate with you telepathically or intuitively. With the six, I'm getting like the first eye. So they, they really are sending you messages to see if you still care, to see if you would still be open. With SOS band, you know, um, I do feel like there will be a message, some sort of secret message or uh, maybe even a text message, an email mess, just like an unexpected message. This person will send you an SOS because the SOS, um, I forgot what that synchronous, I mean, what that acronym means. Special mess, like, let me see what that means, SOS. You know, but the SOS band, you know, with that, tell me if you still care. I think that's truly, um, you know, what this person is dealing with. Like, they want to know if you still care you know like i said with all this time apart they're uncertain as to what you um you know as you know as to what you may feel and this sos means um it says um 
it's a signal of distress and it says it's used especially by ships at sea so remember I was picking up on row 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 your boat so this person is in distress because they miss you I feel like there's a sense of like heartbreak just as I was picking up with that three um, that I had earlier I was getting like the three of swords from the healing card that came out so this person is in distress they're feeling distressed wherever they are they're unhappy I feel like it's really rocky roads is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye so it's really like there's no peace there could be a lot of arguments battles maybe someone's picking up on the fact that someone is isn't like emotionally available anymore or they're just not present you know because when you're in two minds it's like you you aren't you're not present you're not there now and so you're always living in your head and not in that moment and so someone's picking up on that they're the distraction of this person's thoughts constantly going and so it's truly because someone is um, really pondering on this wish fulfillment on this person from the past that they've left behind and now they're realizing that's their wish fulfillment they could be watching this person at a distance um, because they, you know, are um, not communicating with that SOS band. They could be sending you messages telepathically um, just so that you could be more receptive, open up your heart chakra to them when they do return. I do feel like they are going to um, take some sort of action to come towards you um, because the name of the album is called On the Rise. And so I do feel like, you know, there is a sense of them even having some form of ascension or some growth, some personal growth um, where they're not going to be, um, you know, they're not going to allow themselves to be um, stuck and stagnant. It's like their their kundalini is rising is what I'm hearing. So it's like they're, they're you know, whatever, because uh, I'm getting a sense of them being like in that base chakra, the basement, and then them rising. Uh, you know with the time like just growing becoming more confident because I feel a sense of like someone who could have been very passive in a relationship or just didn't really want to argue as much so they just remain quiet most men um, you know when they become um, you know when they're like disconnected from a person is like there's no communication they immediately shut down on the communication and that's what I'm picking up on is like someone is living in a household where there's like not even small talk small talk like there's not even you know any small talk it's just like almost living with a roommate you know I don't even see two people like cuddling at night kissing I don't see any of that at all I just see people just you know just cohabitating you know um, but with this individual, they feel that you are their wish fulfillment. Like they pray for you. They think of you. Um, they literally are manifesting you in their lives. Cause I was picking up on the Magi. So let's see. Why is this six love here? They have a message of love and light. What? Oh, yo, look what just flew out. The freaking Magi. Soon as I said, they could be manifesting you. And I said, Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And look what flew underneath that. Look at this. These are the three cards that just flew out. The freaking Magi. What did I say? They love you. And this hangman is right next to it. The hangman is them seeing things in a whole new light, just as I said. The hangman is forced in that position. It's a sacrificial position so that they can see things from a different perspective. This person has been manifesting you back because they realize that you're the one that got away, Scorpios. With this love, this Ace of Cups is like, this is how much this person loves you. It's like they love you to the moon and back. This person is seeing something in a whole new light. They didn't see this before. That's what I was saying. I felt like they didn't see your worth and value in the past. It's almost like they took you for granted. Now you're stunning. You're attractive. You're wise. You're everything that they wish for, that they hope for. And it's really tricking, tripping them out because they had it and they let it slip away. And this is what they are kicking themselves about. You know, this is why there's so much mental conflict and anxiety because it's like they know they messed up. But now they have to come back and they have to apologize. 
And that's why I was saying in the beginning of the reading, like, you know, the only apology you should accept is change behavior. If someone is really remorseful, if someone is really apologetic, you will see it in their actions because they will return a completely different person. And you will be treated the way that you are supposed to be treated, the way you're meant to be treated, like you are valuable because you are. You know what I'm talking about? And so this person now sees that. And we have Nas, Life is Good. Um, from the Life is Good album, we got Bye Baby. So someone has to move. They got to leave somebody. They could be in a marriage. They could be in a domestic relationship, partnership. This could be someone who is co um, habitating with another person, just as I've said, and they're going to have to leave that situation behind. And um, this is the Ace of Pentacles. They want to offer you something tangible. This is like commitment, marriage. This is someone that wants to build with you, grow with you. This creativity card um, that we are about to clarify, this person could literally come back and propose. This person could literally be like telling someone, I'm leaving, bye baby, I'm out, and they could be coming towards you because I have the number three. That three is like the three of cups reunited. There's a train going by right now. This person could be visiting you. They could be traveling to see you. It's 3.07 on the clock, so that's one. So they will be taking action. This person will be very proactive, very, very... Um, very charming, I heard in my mind's eye. Very chivalrous. They will court you. They will. It's almost like they want to spoil you. So if it's a divine feminine, it's like she wants to show you, you know, that she's a catch. And she's going to appreciate you this time around. She's not going to take you for granted. She's going to do those little things like, you know... Even though she may hold a job, even though she's going to still cook for you, she's going to still, you know, make sure to wash the clothes and do little sweet things like put your clothes up or, you know, prepare your favorite meals, you know, take those little gym trips with you when you want to go to the gym, you know, like little things, you know, it's like watch the game with you. There's this, there's, there's, there's this like this equal give and take, equal exchange of give and take. And I feel like, you know. This is someone now, you know, maybe you had to do this. You had to walk away because this person didn't see your worth and value, you know. You had to chuck up them deuces and now they're seeing you. Now they are wanting to return with this three. The three is giving me, you know, the three of pentacles, the three of cups. Three of pentacles is like somebody saying, look, I want to work this out. Let's work together. Let's build this alliance. Let's build this partnership and let's grow. Let's, you know, let's let's like cultivate you know something here but this is this is really like a, a beautiful offer some of you all could be like just experiencing some sort of uh, abundance right now success if you have businesses you know maybe there's a promotion or a pay increase some sort of bonus coming into some sort of money maybe you're getting a business loan maybe some of you all are gonna have like a handsome tax return this this upcoming year so why is this three creativity? Maybe your businesses are booming. If you have businesses, you know, there's there's something successful. There's something very fortunate. I was feeling like recognition, rewards also, like a blessing or wish fulfillment. So there could be some sort of job offer. So we got two cards that flew out. And so we have the Queen of Cups. So this is a very, you know, emotionally intelligent energy. But with the way she's doing here, you know, with the three creativity in the queen of cups is like her hands are like you know she is released releasing whatever doesn't serve her because she knows her worth and value now this is also if you look she's like you know sitting in and there's like half water you know she's like sitting in you know a half um it looks like she's standing in the ocean actually standing in the ocean and this is really about cleansing, releasing, you know, purging, getting rid of what no longer serves you in love because you know your worth, because you know your value with that Empress energy. The Empress just amplifies all of the, you know, the energy and the powers of that divine, you know, of the queens. But I feel this also just speaks to, you know, your attentiveness, your affection, your love, your care, your tenderness, 
you know, how emotionally intelligent you are. Just how powerful you are. How intuitive. And someone is really seeing you as very attractive. With all that I could say playing by Mary J. Blige. Someone is going to express that. Someone is going to say that. This person spies on you. Because we got the page of swords that also flew out. So someone's watching you just as I've said. I was picking up somebody being able to still watch you, still be able to observe you from a distance. And this person is learning a lot, just as I've mentioned. Like, you know, they see how wise you are. Look at this light bulbs, the book. So it's like they are, you know, being triggered to do their work, to grow. This is some someone that has something to say, obviously, because we have Mary J. Blige, all that I could say. Someone could be named Mary. They could be a J in someone's name. Maybe their name's Jeremy, Jacob, Jared, John, Jimmy, James, Jamika, Jamie, Jane, Jennifer, Juanita, Jose, Juanito. There's definitely someone watching you. And I feel like they're learning a lot. It's like they there's like they they've learned a lot in watching you. There's four light bulbs. You know, and the four um is symbolic of the four elements. So it's almost like you have like you've literally triggered something and if you look there's two birds here. So this person is seeing things from a different perspective. Those birds almost look like um, falcons to me. So it's like this person is like going to be very. Um, I feel like they're just going to um, say something like they're going to just take some sort of leap of faith. They're going to be very. Um, I feel I heard the word brazen, but brave is what I was getting like. They're just going to be brave and come forward or assertive and come forward yep that's why because there goes the emperor in the bottom of the deck and that's the energy of the emperor the emperor is very confident you know they don't lack any confidence not they do not they know exactly who they are they know exactly what they want and this is exactly that energy that matches the frequency and the vibration of a divine feminine divine feminine requires a divine masculine and someone sees you as such. And they're going to confess that because we have Mary J. Blige, all that I can say. All that they can say is they love you because they've been healing. They've been working on themselves with the 66. That's what we're about to clarify, healing. And we have the emperor here. And he's he has like a chest. You know, this is like he got the king, you know. So he's like, you know, he's, he's literally, you know, he's ready to... To... Um, He's ready to conquer is what I heard. You know, because, it, you know, that emperor doesn't take no for an answer. He's very, very confident. You know, some would call it cocky, but he's very confident. He goes after what he wants. He's also very handsome, very passionate. Very strong-willed, strong-headed, strong-minded. That's that energy of an um, entrepreneur as well. Has their own, has their own money. You know, their own means of, you know, surviving. So we have a card that flew out. So we have the Page of Wands. So there, with all that I could say, what did I say? There's a message coming. With the Page of Wands, there's some exciting news. There's an apology, absolutely. Because that 66 breaks down to 12, that's 3. And remember, we were saying that there was, you know, I was getting like the Three of Swords, someone healing, obviously, from heartache and loss. You know, and once you heal, you start moving forward. And so that eight, you know, that uh, page of wands is like action, moving out of that energy of, you know, just being all, um, you know, in pain, um, traumatized, hurt, and just moving on, you know, moving out of that energy, out of that vibration. You know, maybe some news is going to change, you know, someone, um, you know, change the attitude or change um, that energy as well. Just like hearing from someone, 
that could lighten uh, someone's mood or just kind of change someone's vibration a little bit. It's exciting news, whatever it is that's coming in. This could even be news about perhaps business, you know, maybe someone is learning that there's um, someone that wants to partner up or someone that may be perhaps investing in a business, maybe they're getting a loan for a business, maybe they're expanding their business, you know, but there's like good news, exciting news coming in, movement, there's some sort of movement. And we have Meek Mill, this is called What's Free. So there's definitely like, um, with What's Free, maybe you'll have an opportunity to give out, you know, some free items. If you do have a shop, you'll be able to pay it forward because there will be success. There will be some, you know, some some progress and movements. For Look at this. I can't make this up. There goes the chariot I've been talking about all reading. And I just said progress and movements forward. And there goes, this is what, this is like a yes answer. This is also like someone coming in. With this intuition card, you could sense somebody is coming in. Someone's also following their intuition with this 22, that's four. There's a divine masculine rushing in because they definitely freed themselves with what's free. They freed themselves from a situation where they felt stuck and stagnant and confined. They left someone behind because it wasn't working. It wasn't doing it for them. This is freedom. This is confidence. This is, you know, that energy of like assertiveness, as I was saying. Someone taking their power back. Someone standing perpendicular in their square, standing erect, standing their ground, following their own intuition and inner gumption to go after what they want with the four. That's love. You know, this is somebody that like, remember, we opened up the reading with number two love song or number one love song by Michelle and Deo Cello. So I already knew, like, okay, this is going to be one of those again. And with this seven, they feel very, very, very much, you know, ready, willing, and prepared to come in, to rush in. I feel like it's been taking a long time. And I feel like this person just recently freed themselves from a situation where they felt confined. Because I was picking up like somebody was like in a domestic situation where they were cohabitating with another person. You know, residing with another person, paying half on the bills. Why is intuition here? Thank you, spirit. It fell on the floor. That's amazing. I love, 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 love when that happens. Let's see what we got, beloveds. And look what we have. Didn't I mention the Nine of Pentacles? I can't make this ish up. I cannot. The Nine of Pentacles, beloveds, this is what fell on the floor. Didn't I say that's how they saw y'all? Single, independent, self-sufficient, happy. You over here happy, cheesing and shit. This person is like, damn. They don't want you to be free out here on your own too long. Because they know you're not going to be on the market too much longer. Because you, you're just gorgeous and shit. And their intuition is telling them, you better hurry up. Because that Scorpio is a whole snack, whether male or female. Like, this person is not going to be... Look how beautiful and radiant and abundant. Look at that energy. That's, like, really, like, attractive energy. Anybody would be attracted to that. And remember, I was picking up the word stunning. And that's literally what I'm seeing here is, like, just this stunning energy. That, that peace, that happiness... You know, you just look very satisfied and you're also very guarded. You know, this is that energy of like, don't disturb this groove. You're in your protective bubble. And it's literally because, you know, whatever you've endured in the past, you've learned not to be too, you know, open, too, too giving. You know, you can't overcompensate. People don't appreciate it. They'll exploit it. They'll take advantage of it. They'll abuse your kindness and take it for weakness. So now you're just like, nah. I'm going to be guarded. Spirit is saying be more adventurous though. You know, maybe who you are um, coming into union with, they could pull you out of this, you know, out of this this um, guardedness or out of this, this energy where you are uh, super protective and blocked off. I feel like somebody's going to come in and just kind of like help you put your guard down a little bit. You know, but I do feel like you, 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 you protect your energy. By any means and any strategy, but I feel like spirit is really sending somebody that's going to just bring a lot of happiness, a lot of, um, you know, beautiful energy. 
And look what we have, the two of wands. There goes the duality, the decisions, the choices, the options. This is that number 55. And look what we have on the bottom of the deck. Remember, we had rebirth. And this is the 13. Remember, I mentioned the death card, transformations. So this is what we have on the bottom of the deck. This is why this two is here. Someone is going through some sort of ending. They are freeing themselves from a relationship where I feel like things got really bland, really dry. You know, the well ran out. 55 is like they're seeking some sort of excitement. You know, I was picking up on someone, living with someone. There's no communication. There's barely any acknowledgement of one another's presence. They're just resting in two separate wings of the house and, you know, kind of just walking by one another. No community. It's just very, very bored, you know. And so they're looking out of this window, you know, to see what else is out there. This is like them making a decision, like I'm moving on. I'm leaving this one. So there is a decision. And the decision is to go, you know, to be spontaneous, to, to go seek that excitement, to go seek, you know, that zest for life. And so they're going to cut themselves free from what no longer serves them. This is the death of the old and the birth of something new, a new perspective, a new mindset, you know. But I feel like someone is absolutely like just transforming altogether. And we have that 41 self-discipline. So this is really someone transforming and, and really bettering themselves, growing, maturing. You know, this is that energy of someone like really going through those um steps to become a better version of themselves whether through studying or healing or doing internal work going to a master teacher whatever it is it's like they've had to go through some sort of startling metamorphosis you know and they've transmuted the pain turned it into power this is really a beautiful energy here so why is this 41 self-discipline here because there's a decision someone has made some sort of decision they've chosen a different uh you know a course of direction so why is this discipline here yep up in their head that's that see that that 41 that's amazing so they're 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 really up in their head with how to communicate what to say how to say it look what just oh my goodness and it's requiring divine timing. So this person, this is what they're going through. We got the two of swords. So that's the indecision I was picking up. Stuck in two minds. We got the temperance. So this is a matter of divine timing because someone is obviously still tied to, you know, a circumstance, a situation where they feel a little, you know, um, just a little bound, stuck. And they're going to have to move on. Um, but we also have the Nine of Cups, which I mentioned, and then with six, the Six Lovers. And this is all clarifying the number four, self-discipline. So that was what I feel someone had to go through some sort of karmic situation in order to learn, again, that self-discipline. It, it, it's all encompassing. It, it, it speaks to self-love, self-worth, self-care, self-value, self-respect, integrity. Um, and so with self-discipline, this is, this is what they've had to learn. You know, and in learning, this is, you know, going to force them to make decisions head over heart or to think more logically, you know, with these two birds. Remember, I kept hearing like, you know, I was picking up on bird totems. And so I've been seeing them on a couple of these cards. But there's something that's requiring divine timing, you know, or it's requiring patience, I should say. But it's taking divine timing. There's a sun and a moon. You know, and so that's about the balance, just like that number two duality It's about balancing. So it's about seeing something clearly using logic or using head over heart, you know, in a circumstance, in a situation. You know, you could love somebody all day, but if you um, aren't happy, then you got to do what's best for you. Someone realizes someone is a wish fulfillment. That's the nine of cups right here. And they're jumping for joy. You know, and that nine is really somebody who's really just happy in their own skin, happy being in their own skin by themselves. They don't feel the need to be validated by another person. And this is because they've done a lot of healing, healing at a soul level, learning their worth. Love is an inside job. And there goes the lovers. 
This is someone realizing, damn, Scorpio is the one that just makes my heart flutter. You know, this is that person that has to make that tough decision to leave a situation behind. Like, they're not happy. And we have surf surface closer than just friends playing. So this is someone that you could be friends with and they feel closer than just, you know, friends with you. Like, this is somebody that you may never have dated seriously, but this person feels closer than just your friend. They feel, you know, these feelings. If you are friends, they want to they want it to be a little more um, serious. And we have the Hierophant here on the bottom of the deck, and I mentioned that as well. In that Hierophant, you see the ascension, the growth, the stairs represent ascension you know stepping into one's god frequency you know tapping into that christ consciousness tapping into that higher level self so let's clarify these messages and then we're gonna wrap it up uh, Shay. and so we have feather here on the bottom of the deck and it says protection and love from your guardian angels so you are absolutely protected you're loved i was picking up on like ancestors you know like ancestors that could have been watching over you and so we have a couple of cards here we have mama yemen ya love thyself you are beautiful and protect thy family this flew out and we also have family time build connect check in these are the two cards that just flew out as I was shuffling. And these are clarifying the 37 time out and the strength. So in this time out, somebody's realizing with close than just friends that there is definitely a connection where they feel this sense of family. They feel that they can build. They feel that they can nurture that connection. They want to cultivate it. They want to manifest it. They feel like the two of you would be like you would have that equal exchange of give and take like your their twin flame their soulmate the yin to their yang the yang to their yin this person feels closer than just friends so if this is someone that you know you know this could be like a secret admirer someone that's never confessed this but this is definitely someone that can see like building that family that nucleus you know having that structure wanting to be your support system willing to compromise Someone that's really ready, willing, and able to invest, you know. This is a beautiful, beautiful energy. And they're very much attracted to you. And they want to communicate with you. I do feel like this person was, um, you know, tied to a karmic. There was something karmic going on. But it was all a matter of divine timing. And so we have where do you see yourself in five years from now? If you don't know, create a vision board. So this is that person that's been reflecting. Remember, spirit put someone in this time out. This is a sacrificial position for someone to be able to see things from a different perspective. And spirit forced someone to look at their lives, assess their lives. You know, and that's why they're now realizing like they want to be closer than just friends with you. Because this is falling underneath the six love. We're about to clarify Six Love, the Magician, the Ace of Cups, along with the um, Hangman. So that's what this person is doing. With that question, they're pondering, you know. That's that, that energy of time out, like the hermit mode, like sitting and reflecting, pondering. Gaining that, that, that deeper understanding now through looking at things from a different lens. So let's tap in. Why is... Um, the Six Love, The Magician, The Ace of Cups, and The Hangman here. Thank you, Spirit. Look at this. I cannot make this ish up. Look what just flew out. We have Mama Oshun, Beauty, Love, Attraction, You Sexy Thang You, and Infinite Supplies. Keep your head to the sky and keep trying. Didn't I say both of these things? Like that this person is very attracted to you, very drawn to you. Like this person is very much... Like, they find you stunning. They they cannot keep their eyes off you. This person does watch you, I feel, from a distance. But this is someone that prays for you and is manifesting you with infinite possibilities. And that magician there, this person is definitely, like, manifesting, trying to call you in. 
and we have I owe you. So this person definitely feels like they owe you an apology. We're about to clarify the number three, creativity, the number um, queen of cups, and the page of swords. And so this person knows they owe you an apology. You definitely, um, you, you, you let go of this connection. You walked away. You were the one that let go, Scorpios. Because the way she threw, she's throwing her hands up and him saying, I owe you. I just keep hearing, I owe you an apology. They know they owe you an apology. They see that now. And that's why that three is there. You know, the three is the empress. They see your worth and value now. They know they made a mistake. But they also want to reunite. They want to reconnect. They want to build an alliance. This person is um, definitely spying on you. Definitely, um, I feel like a secret admirer now. This is like somebody that really admires you from a distance. And what we have on the bottom of the deck is support system, the village, people you can trust and depend on in this uh, crisis. This is what they want to come back and be now. Because they weren't that in the past. I feel like this person was very flighty. This was a non-committal type of person. Someone that wanted to be in and out. Come and go as they pleased. I feel like this person could have got you involved in a third party. This person could have cheated. Or there could have been infidelities. Or just dishonesty. You know, not really respecting um, your intelligence. Like kind of playing you for boo-boo the fool. Just insulting your intelligence. But now they want to come back. Remember what I said about change behavior? That's the only apology you should accept, should accept. And I feel like now this person wants to be just that. They want to be your support system with I owe you. It's like they're taking onus. They're taking accountability. It's like they've learned something, especially with this page of swords. And he's holding a book there. And those light bulbs. Remember what I said about the four light bulbs? That's what they've had in each element. So it's like they, they've learned something very valuable about you. You know, and as I said, like, you know, the Empress and the Emperor, they definitely will trigger one another. And so if you're further along in your spiritual journey and you have, you know, that that, um, you know, divine feminine or divine masculine that is, uh, you know, kind of like, you know, walk, you know, following you, your steps, you, your guidance, um, they are absolutely going to have like these epiphanies. And those four light bulbs represent each element. So it's like they've they've awakened emotionally. They've awakened to the fact that you ground them. They've awakened to the fact that they have to speak truthfully or they've had some sort of clarity about the situation. They've awakened to the passion, you know, that you may, you know, excite or in, entice within them or ignite, excuse me, the passion that you ignite within them. And with I owe you, this person now realizes that they owe you. Um, they owe you an apology. They owe you exactly what you deserve. Because now they see your worth and value. Something they may have taken for granted in the past. So why does this three creativity, the queen of cups, and the page of swords here? Dang, that was a lot of cards. But let's see. And we have manifest that ish. Didn't I tell you this person is manifesting you back? They are like, they are tapping into their divine, you know... They're, 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 they're like inner magi. And we have Sheila E, a love bazaar. So yeah, this person loves you like I'm hearing crazy in love. It's also bizarre. And we got uh, dream catcher, nightmares, witching hours, protection needed. So there's something going on that's bizarre about this love triangle um, or this love connection. There's somebody that could be manipulating someone's energy. They could be someone trying to block this union, block this connection. We also have You Are Uniquely Made, Beautiful Soul. That came out. We have Thunder Clapping, Prepare, Take Shelter. We have Carries You in Their Spirit. That's why you they can't stop thinking of you and you them. We have Single Black, White, Female, Male, Once Your Life, Jealous, Envious, Sneaky, Hater. We have Be Thankful, You Fell Down But Got Back Up. And we have flighty, ins and outs, impulsive, unreliable. So this is what was happening. This person is kind of like bipolar with their emotions. You know, it's like they're in and out. They're also, you know, having a lot of, um, you know, mental anguish regarding the situation. Um, I feel they're dealing with somebody that's obsessed with them because we did have that devil earlier. Um, that's like obsessive behavior or someone that could be even possessive. 
Um, maybe this person is also, um, you know, dealing with uh, someone that could be manipulating their energy. Uh, maybe if someone has discovered you are in this person's heart chakra, uh, they're carrying you in their heart chakra in their spirit, this person is manipulating and doing binding spells, which you're picking up on. You could be picking up on this. I feel like with you are uniquely made, beautiful soul. This is exactly how this person sees you. Just as I've said, like they see that you are someone that's just different. You're rare. You're unlike the rest. You know, you're like a literally, um, you know, um, an earth angel. And I feel like this person was not appreciative um, of you. Like they did not... Um, really appreciate the f connection or they didn't value the connection and when there was no communication that's when they had like that epiphany but there is definitely some sort of obsessive person in the background that is very jealous and I feel like with once your life this could be you know maybe a karmic to the person that's meant to come into your life or this could be someone that you have in your cipher Someone that you're not even aware of that is looking at you as their competition, as a threat. Maybe you could be doing business projects and they could be somebody that's doing business projects and they could be like in some sort of like rivalry with you unbeknownst to you. This could be someone at your job um, that you are busting it out at your job. You're getting all these accolades, getting a lot of recognition. You could be in spotlight because we did see the star. And there is just someone that is jealous. They hate the fact that you get recognized. They hate the fact that you get, you know, um, you know, rewarded for your good work and your effort. And so they can be jealous and sending like evil eye your way and all kind of bad energy your way. So spirit is saying you need to be very mindful of this with nightmares. You could be some of y'all could be suffering from like insomnia um, or maybe you are waking up during witching hours and there are it's because somebody's like manipulating your energy or sending you psychic attacks i feel like you really need to protect your energy um and spirit is also protecting you because remember we had feather open up the reading before we even um started to select these cards we had that feather card that said protection and your guardian angels are with you so definitely call in your angels your guides your ancestors your deity your spiritual parents um, for your protection because they are watching over you and they will not allow anything to happen to you especially if somebody is doing something out of malice so in jealousy and disdain so but just know that there's also someone who recognizes um, exactly what they're feeling and they are eventually going to say something um, because that that page of swords is showing that along with this page of wands and this love bazaar, there is a love bazaar because there's something bizarre going on. You and this person would have been in union, but I do feel like somebody is coming in between it and causing a delay. Um, I also was picking up on someone having to walk away from another person in order to come towards you. And that is going to cause some sort of heartbreak. Um, you know, they may need to heal from that situation maybe they've already walked away but they're gonna have to eventually like they're gonna have to heal you don't want anybody coming to you damaged all right so we have the next card world so this could indicate that there is distance emotional physical um but this also could speak to you know just completion of a cycle this is clarifying the 66 healing so you could be like healing from you know, a lot of these changes that have been taking place, a lot of these uh, transformations that you've been going through, your life has really shifted in, um, you know, in many ways. Uh, but I also feel like there's just movement. Maybe some of you will be traveling. Um, someone could be traveling to see you. Maybe you could be going on a trip. But I do feel like there's this sense of like you gaining, um, you know, perspective and understanding, um, knowledge of self. Um even, you know, spiritual alignment, wise dome, uh, because the world card is really about um, elevating and ascending uh, to one's higher self. And I feel like, you know, you turn the pain um, that you've been experienced in your ex relationships, friendships, in those dynamics um, into, you know, superpowers. Uh, and you've evolved and emerged someone completely new, completely different um, and very informed. And so there's just movement forward. 
Uh, we have reinvent yourself in the wardrobe, haircut, hairstyle, massage, mani penny, henna, uh, henna tattoo. Um, so this could literally just be like you um, really showing yourself self-love because uh, we do have this nine of cups and that's I mean the nine of coins and that's really what you do you know when you're independent you just do what makes you feel good you know that's really a part of the self-care uh, a lot of you um, have really started to really just take care of yourselves um, and this is how someone sees you maybe you look a little different from the last time someone has seen you and that this is like they they find you stunning maybe you've lost some weight you've trimmed down you know maybe you've grown your hair out maybe it was shorter when they met you and now it's just you know you got a beautiful mane i heard mane so let's see why is this 22 intuition and the nine of pentacles here for my divine scorpios may have a message of love and allow you a message of love and thank you spirit and we have in the bottom of the deck it says have zero regrets all the pain was worth it so we have uh, Oshun. So Oshun, yeah, this person is definitely attracted to you. And it says, read the room and see who's got their eyes locked on you. Um, we also have make your next move your best move. It says, drink more water, exercise, take a nature walk, jog, yoga, yoga meditate, and um, ground yourself, be healthy. And it says, show them how to move in a room full of vultures. Patience is also a form of action. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. So this is exactly what's happening. Someone sees you in your light, beloved. Like you're beautiful. Oshun is very beautiful, attractive, very powerful, a master manifester. Someone sees you as very independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. And they could just be jelly. They could just be jealous that you have all the success. You're happy. You're radiant. And there's someone who could be in your inner circles because it says read the room and see who's got their eyes locked on you. So there's some folks that could be smiling and beguiling in your face, plotting and planning. You know, these are people that could be like backstabbers, haters. Um, and with make your move, your next move, this is about you needing now to, to pay attention to the signs, pay attention to the energy that people are giving off. You also need to drink more water. Um, take better care of yourselves. Uh, maybe that's something that you all are already doing. Just being more mindful to, um, you know, to treat yourselves better. Um, you know, really doing a lot of um, um, healing work. Maybe you are, again, like, you know, going out and grounding yourselves, going to bodies of, of water to release, you know, whatever doesn't serve you. Um, but I do feel like a strong sense of, like, you all are getting... Um, you're getting some form of uh, perhaps exercise or some sort of new um, routine. So maybe you're starting some sort of new eating regimen. Um, but this is like you are protected, uh, but you've been waiting patiently for something. You know, I feel like spirit is telling you to also be be healthy. Like don't don't just be out here eating anything. Like you gotta eat foods that that are live. So definitely eat more vegetables, drink more water, and look at this. Look what what I'm seeing here. So there's definitely somebody plotting and scheming, you know, trying to set you up, line you up. So be mindful. And this is high alert, and that's why spirit is telling you trust your intuition. Some of you all may have a couple of people returning, but then you have somebody else, uh, you know, somebody that's um, really meant to be in your life that could be here. Um, for the right reasons, wanting to, you know, offer you something real and tangible. But then you have some sort of fugazi energy here that is trying to, you know, distract you. The spirit is telling you to like, you know, with this uh, two of swords, that also is like that energy of like, you know, being in two minds. And that's that five five. And with this backstabbing on the bottom of the deck, I just get a strong feeling. Yeah, look what I didn't even see that this flew out, but it says... Um, financial freedom, success. So a lot of you all are absolutely being rewarded. Uh, remember, I was picking up on the star. So that's just like wish fulfillment. There's blessings. There's abundance. There's prosperity. Um, and I just feel like that just goes with the energy of, you know, that same um, like the um, world card. Because that's you, you start to get rewards and recognitions, answer prayers once you complete a cycle, once something comes full circle. And so I feel like there's definitely like um, some blessings. Uh, we have um, Tidra Moses featuring Raheem Devine's, the Raheem Divine, and this is called Get Yours. 
So spirit is saying that somebody's very jealous because you're getting yours, whatever yours may be, whether it be recognition, whether it be success, whether it be just, you know, you're prospering or you're excelling and advancing in a particular area. Um, this could be causing people to be, you know, a little perturbed. You know, everybody's not going to be celebrating your wins and that's okay. But you seem to be very happy, very satisfied. You got wish fulfillment here. You seem to be very, you know, very happy, you know, and there's somebody that's just very perturbed by that. So why is adventure and the two of swords here? We have the message of love and light. I thought that was coming out and it didn't. And so we have analysis paralysis. Stop thinking. I can't make this up. I literally said all of these cards that came out. Analysis paralysis. Stop thinking. So this is that person that's trying to figure out how to, you know, just take that leap of faith, come after you, say what they need to say, get whatever they need to get off their chest. But they are up in their head like crazy. See that? They just want to take that leap of faith. They just want to take action. But this is what they're dealing with. You know, this is that monkey mind. This is being stuck in two, two minds or stuck, you know, um, you know, a little, you know, um, just thinking and thinking and thinking and not having any control of the one's thoughts. But I do feel like they'll finally like, you know, snap out of it and go get theirs because we have go get yours. You know, so somebody will um, somebody will go eventually for move forward, come out of that. And we have it's not what you think further investigation needed. You know, so whatever someone was thinking, maybe there was a little confusion there. You know, let me get up one more card to clarify this 55 because that 55 reduces to one. And that one is giving me like the ace of wands, you know, like movement, action. So somebody will, you know, snap out of this energy and take action. So we have basic instructions before leaving Earth. So someone's definitely seeking knowledge, seeking higher knowledge. So they may be asking for advice, you know, speaking to an elder. And we have um, stress kill, destroy stress. So this is really like, you know, like I said, somebody stressed out, anxious, overthinking. That's what analysis paralysis is. And then it says cut your losses. You'll be rewarded greatly. We have guilty conscious. I can't eat, baby. I can't sleep, baby, without you in my life. We have king's disease, queen's disease, gluttony, power, hungry. And then we have life is good. So life could be good. Remember, we had life is good playing earlier that was the album by Nas and the name of the song was Bye Baby. So this is how somebody's life is going to be good when they leave a situation and this is why they're suffering from monkey mind because they're trying to strategize how to do that. They're trying to figure out how to go get theirs, how to go get what makes them happy or how to go get what they truly want. And they're stressed out about this. So they could be, you know, seeking some sort of instruction, trying to, you know, gain some sort of deeper understanding of how to do this this person already sees you as you know the wish fulfillment so they know what they want but it says what you put out you get back see so they're going to make the decision to leave this just jumped out of my hand so they're going to make a decision to leave something done done finn so that's saying like you know um chapters done you know cycles done and we have spiritual baths are necessary seesaw egg cleanse floor of the water didn't i say somebody was manipulating someone's energy so this is what someone's dealing with that's why they could be dealing with like you know the um you know um waking up during those witching hours maybe dream catcher you know maybe having nightmares you know, and it's because their energy is being manipulated um, with that self-discipline. That's when you work on the self. That's the basic instructions before leaving Earth. So, you know, maybe sitting at the feet of an elder, seeking advice, you know, wise counsel, talking to someone that's experienced, perhaps a maternal or paternal figure. And we have Tyrese, best of me. So, yeah, this person took the time out to work on themselves to become a better version of themselves. Maybe this is your energy. You d you're not letting anyone get the best of you either. Like, you've grown to love yourselves, to not care what anybody thinks of you anymore, to move to the beat of your own drum. So, we have two cards that just, like, did a somersault out of there. And look at that. It says the yoke has been broken. Redemption. So, if there is a karmic cord or some sort of soul tie... Or something that's binding another person to another to someone else. It's like they're moving on. And look what it says. Pay attention. 
um, God is trying to tell you something. And then it says spiritual baths are necessary. Sea salt. So someone, you know, was getting signs from spirit, divine interventions, downloads. Maybe they were, they were also bumping into birds, um, animal totems, uh, letting them know that they need to like pay attention to something because something wasn't right. If a spiritual bath is necessary, that means that there's some sort of hex or yoke or spell, some sort of, you know, karmic cord. And that's why there is, you know, now this, um, this energy of like someone finally being able to see something clearly uh, because spirit has broken some sort of yoke because I feel like somebody was definitely spiritually protected and guided and this is why they're able to you know see something clearly now or make some sort of decision and what we see here is like I said the Sun and then we have the moon right there so this shows me that there was definitely um, balance that was needed um, because someone was absolutely under some sort of attack, I feel. And I feel like with this attack, um, you know, spirit finally stepped in to to rectify this situation, to clear it up. Um, and with where have you been all of my life, this is when someone will enter your life that will make you feel um, literally brand new. Like you are going to get the best of this person you know, this is someone that is, you know, your better half even. But um, this is a beautiful reading, Scorpios. I feel like, you know, whoever has some sort of crazy karmic or whatever um, you're dealing with that is um, toxic, whether it's a person around you, um, whatever this is, it's like you got to get this energy out of here. I do feel like the yoke is going to be broken because we do see that here. The yoke has been broken. Um, uh, but... You, you, in order for you to to be able to move forward, there has to be um, some steps taken to to get someone's energy like right. Like you got to get your energy right, you know. And with pay attention, God is trying to tell you something. Um, definitely, um, you know, go sit by a body of water. There could be some divine downloads. You know, there could be some transmissions that you are missing. Um, you might need to go out in nature just to get, you know, to ground your energy, to, just so you can receive that. Uh, because the, I feel like spirit is trying to tell you about, um, you know, an enemy. You know, remember the devil showed up, and we also have, you know, like that that magician. The magician is it could be good or bad. You know, all this energy could be good or bad, um, and there could be somebody that is really like in a secret competition because you just appear to be very. Um, very successful, very stable, um, you know, and very attractive at this time. Like, whatever you're doing, you know, you're, you're laying low, you're minding your business, but somebody's minding yours. So just be mindful that, you know, this energy is is very much, like, on your trail. Uh, but I do know that you also had that card support system, um, and your angels and ancestors are absolutely here uh, protecting you and guiding you. Uh, so just make sure to pay attention to how your energy feels around certain people, uh, because I do feel like you are moving uh, amongst vultures, you know, uh, people that you may be calling friends, homie, brethren, sistren, um, cousin, auntie, mommy, don, you know, brother, whatever. It's like th th some of these folks are um, foo foo and they got it out for you. So. Uh, be mindful of that. Everybody that smiles in your face are not for you, you know, so just be mindful of that. But I see clearly like you've been doing your work. You've been doing your one, two. And this could be another reason why folks are a little jelly and, you know, a little perturbed. But it's, you know, it, it's like that that's not for any of you to concern yourselves with that. That's a them problem. Um, but I do see success. I see rewards. I see recognition. I see new beginnings. Like I just see beautiful, beautiful energy, Scorpio. So congratulations for that. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you are new and you found that the messages resonate, please be kind. Don't hesitate. Hit that like button. Get the video into the algorithm so that it can help others. Definitely hit the subscribe button if you feel so inclined to do so. Become a member of the Soul Tribe Soul Family. And Definitely hit the bell notification because I do not upload every single day. Um, it's more sporadic so when spirit tells me to do so. Um, 
So just so you can be notified when that is, hit that notification bell. For anyone that's returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Until next time, Ashe.